So today we're gonna to talk about uh, one of the hottest brands on the planet, Cartier, and what a company like that can do when they really put their minds to the highest level of ultrology. Um, we are fortunate enough to have here at Oliver Smith some of the coolest watches from Cartier, frankly, I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and I've never, other, other than Watches and Wonders, I've never seen a collection like this together in one place. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's incredible what they can do at this very, very high end, to be honest with you. Well, and, and one of the things we like about being a Cartier dealer, and this is just pulling the curtain back a little bit for you guys. Um, a lot of companies right now will do exclusives, um, be it online exclusives, right. bo internal boutique exclusives, things like that. Cartier doesn't. Mm. Um, everybody literally is pulling out of the same pond for this stuff. Yeah. So these were things, um, just coincidentally, a few of the salespeople here had brought in to show individual clients, and we kind of realized that we're in a really cool position to have some really cool stuff here. We just want to take a moment and share it with you. Ryan, kick us off with the Santos. Yeah, so uh, if you guys don't know, they make a Santos skeleton piece. The really cool thing about this piece is they actually had to redesign the movement to actually fit this case, to fit on the bridge here, because it's actually all Roman numerals. And another fun fact for you, they actually hold the patent on Roman numeral skeleton watches. So, and that I just found out like a few minutes ago. Which is pretty cool, <laughs> which, is, which is actually pretty cool when I found that out as and, well. And this one, that's black loom on there too, isn't it? It's it, also, yeah, it, that's, it, that's, it is a that's black wild, loom, man. which actually uh, you saw with another Richemont brand, Panerai recently, yeah. the 1314 with the black loom. Yep. Uh, they added it on this model, and it is a fantastic piece. And that's actually that's actually core product. Um, we don't yes. get them in often, um, and they go quickly, but we just happen to have one in right now. And they come in stainless, rose gold, and the uh, the blacked out uh, steel as well. And they did that cool enamel version with it. That's at, right, at I forgot about it, with the, with the different year. bezels yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that's right. And, and it is just really interesting. Um, uh, right off the bat, if you don't like Roman numerals, you probably don't like like, like Cartier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but to do that with a movement um, is is just next level. Oh, um, yeah. it, it really is. And then to kind of dovetail into it, for those of you who don't know, um, the whole Santos collection is Louis Cartier dedicating to his buddy uh, Santos Dumont. Yep. Um, Santos Dumont. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so they did in the Santos Dumont collection, which is a little smaller and a little thinner, they did a, a different skeleton this year. And it's pretty cool. It, it is remarkable. Uh, it's a little spot on for, for, for the Santos thing. Yeah. But um, most skeletons are not automatic. Um, you're going to take away the materials so you can see through the watch um, and it's all about that lightness of the look I guess right this is absolutely that but they made it automatic um, so down here at seven o'clock you have this rotor and the rotor is an incredibly detailed sculpture of Santos's plane yeah and I remember seeing I remember seeing like this like sneak shots of this before watches and wonders and seeing it live and, and absolutely blown away and all these months later this is the first one I've seen since the show and uh, nothing's changed uh, it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so phenomenal. Cool. They did such a good job with it. And for some reason, and, and I, I wish other companies would kind of take a, a tip from this, it's still legible. Oh, yeah. Um, you can totally actually use these as a watch. I, I do wish, though, on this one, because the original story is it was a balloon flight around the Eiffel Tower. That's actually what he made the watch for. Uh, I really wish they would actually do, put do the, a balloon. the balloon. Yeah. Which um, I, I, cool. I, I, well, no, that would wait, too. I, I was just thinking the plane weighs nicely, so it's going to use the word. Sure, they can do the balloon. Yeah, no, it would yeah. be upside down. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving forward, and this one I did share with you guys before, but um, it, it, it's back and better than ever, um, is the Palais. Palladium Clay de Cartier Mystère. Very cool. Um, what's cool about this one is that Mystère, uh, the, the way it tells time. Yes. Um, go ahead. Uh, uh, let, let them know how it's done. Yeah. Let, let them know the secret. Yeah, so basically it's like, it's a two plates basically and it's they're moving like this and there's actually like bars on the side that actually move the plates around um, it's a crazy technology that's actually in the watch to make that thing work and I don't think people realize I think they just think it's the hands that move like a normal yeah. watch yep. but if you notice there is no stem coming out to these hands so obviously they had to do it a different it's just way. floating there and you it's know just like, how it's, is this happening it's kind of magical to be honest with you um, the clay as a watch is discontinued yes um, it may be a little controversial uh, clay means key in French right. and uh, uh, the, the way you wound the watch was literally to twist it at 180 degrees. Um, I know you weren't a fan of that necessarily, but it just took a little bit too long to set the watch and to wind the watch and things like that for my life. And, and maybe from our side of the counter, um, it wouldn't be your first watch. Right. Yeah. You're, you're going to be down the rabbit hole. Correct. Looking at the yeah. You'd have a couple of these before you bought this one, <laughs> and you might want to have a less hairy wrist for this watch as well. So. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's maybe true for some of the skeletons as well. Yes. Um, know, know yourself. Know what you're comfortable <laughs> with, because you will see through the watch to 
to the skin behind it. Yep. Moving forward into, I'm going to call it a Panther collection here. Yeah. But it's a kind of a Panther Pasha, and I know this is one of your favorites. So y yes, it is. And we actually had the very extreme version of this watch before. Full bracelet, baguette diamonds throughout. Like if you guys ever want to see the best diamond work on a piece, and I'm not huge on diamonds on watches. It's so good. But that one takes the cake. <laughs> uh, we had it here. What was that? Two years ago, maybe. Yeah. 2021, yeah. I think. Uh, and it was phenomenal. Like literally, like blew our socks off. Like George was like sweating, like taking a link out of the thing. I, like, I mean, it was really nerve wracking. Yeah, because yeah, because it's. So good, you like you 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 don't want to touch. Oh, no, yeah, you don't want to touch and, it. Yeah. And, and I think I told you then, and I think it's still true. Uh, as far as diamond watches go, uh, that is the benchmark with which I will compare every other diamond watch oh, I ever seen yeah. in my entire like, life. It was that kind of good. Set. Like if the diamond or if like the case was meeting there, they would put a smaller diamond, and it'd be like perfect. And like it's and, incredible and, what and they can do. For those of you who don't see them a lot, uh, when it comes to gem setting, uh, particularly on watches, um, it, it becomes a, a, a real difficult challenge to find the stones, to source them, to get them all the same color, yeah. to get the tables of every single diamond to be exactly the same, and then to fit them all so light hits at the exact same place in the exact same time. And all the same level. I've never, seen, I've never yeah. seen it done better than Cartier. Bravo. Yeah, um, that, that was like one of the coolest watches I've ever seen. I mean, they are a jeweler first, so I mean, it doesn't sure. make sense. Doesn't you know sense. what? Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should. <laughs> if <laughs> I'm going to hold anybody to that standard, it's going <laughs> to be gonna Cartier. Be um, and then really cool, uh, th this little, I'm almost more of a bracelet watch, part of the uh, uh, jewelry collection, but it is two Panthers holding the watch, one of the cutest yeah. little things. I've never seen anything like it. Um, again, cool watch. just combining... <laughs> It, it, well, I mean, it, you, you know, know what? You know what? I'm not here to judge. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what I'm looking at here is some of the finest jewelry manufacturer, bracelet manufacturer, movement manufacturer, otorology watches, yep. and and it may be from a little unexpected source. Oh yeah. Thank you, Cartier. Absolutely. Uh, really appreciate what you do.